how this mathematical miracle of the Quran was discovered? When I came to this country, the United States, in 1968, I read the English translations of the Quran, and I didn't like any of them. I read them all. Yusuf Ali, Muhammad Ali, Pickthal, Arbery, M.J. Dawood, and so on, all of them. Even as far back as George Sale's translation. Some of them actually distorted the basic doctrines of the Quran. And that was serious enough to encourage me to translate the Quran uh, myself for my own children. I did it just for local consumption. However, because I'm a chemist and not a professional religionist, I decided not to move from one verse to the next unless I knew exactly what every word and every verse meant. I made a pledge to God that I will not move from one verse to the next unless I know exactly what it meant. So I started the translation and I finished the first surah, Al-Fatiha, in seven days. Then I moved on to the next verse, the first verse of surah number two, Al-Baqarah. And I found that it consisted of only three letters, Alif, Lam, Mi, A, L, M. Of course, I knew this all along since I was a young child, but uh, now I'm trying to uh, translate it. I wanted to know exactly what the significance of A, L, M is. I looked up all the tafsirs, interpretations, and uh, all the books written about these letters and everybody, all the scholars said we do not know what these letters mean. So I started my own research and after many attempts and many failures, I decided to put the whole Quran in the computer. I didn't know what to look for. So I had the computer count every letter in every surah. And the objective was to look for any mathematical connections or any mathematical pattern between uh, that involves these letters. There are 29 surahs in the Quran prefixed with these initials, different sets of initials, 14 sets of initials to be exact. Alif, Lam, Mim, Nun, Sad, Qaf, Ta, Sin, Mim, Ya, Sin, Ta, Ha, and so on, 14 of them. And sure enough, uh, after four years of research, a mathematical pattern emerged with a common denominator binding all these initials without a single exception. And the common denominator was 19. As it turned out, and as you will see in this program, uh, every element of the Quran, the number of verses, the numbers assigned to the surahs, numbers of words, uh, the letters, every letter in the Quran is mathematically composed beyond human capabilities. And the common denominator that binds all these mathematical, physical facts is the number 19. <laughs> get down to business and look at the Quran itself and I would like to remind you that uh, all the items you're going to see are factual observations they're all physical facts in the Quran so here is a big Quran that we can see together and the first item of this miracle is that the first verse in the Quran Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim consists of 19 Arabic letters. Here they are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 letters. And the whole Quran has 114 surahs. As we see here, the last surah, 
is number 114. And 114 is a multiple of 19. 19 times 6. And uh, it consists by, uh, of 6 verses, by the way. So 19 times 6 gives us the total number of surahs in the Quran. 114. Now, if we count from this surah towards the other surahs, here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, and 19, we find that number 19 is the first revelation in Quran, Surah number 96, and it says, Iqra' bism rabbika alladhi khalaq, the first revelation. So, the first Surah revealed is positioned in the Quran atop the last 19 Surahs in the Quran. You also notice that this surah consists of 19 verses. The first revelation was 19 words exactly. Here they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we go to the next page. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This was the first revelation through the Prophet Muhammad and it consisted of 19 words. If you count the letters in these 19 words, you find that the, the total is 76. 19 times 4. And if you count uh, the letters in the whole surah, the first surah revealed, you find that the total is 285 letters, or 19 times 15. The last surah revealed was surah number 110. And it consists also of 19 words. Here they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the last revelation and the first revelation consisted of 19 words. Now, if you go back to the very beginning, the first verse in the Quran, as you heard before, the first verse of the Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, consists of 19 letters. Every word, there are four words here, and every word is mentioned in the Quran a number of times, which is consistently a multiple of 19. The word ism, which means name, is mentioned in the Quran 19 times exactly. If you wish to use the word bism, it is mentioned three times but if you add the numbers assigned to the verses and surahs where the three times of bism occur, the total is 114, 19 times 6. The second word, Allah, is mentioned in the whole book 2,698 times, or 19 times 142. The third word, Ar-Rahman, is mentioned in the whole Quran 57 times, or 19 times 3. The last word, Ar-Rahim, is mentioned in the whole book 114 times or 19 times 6.